I'm Wojtek Kaliczyński, this is Android Tool Time, and let's talk a bit about the Espresso Test Recorder and how it can help with adding UI tests to your app. But first, a short explanation for those unfamiliar with Espresso. Espresso is a testing framework designed to provide a fluent API for writing concise and reliable UI tests. However, it is often the case that developers are reluctant to add UI tests to their apps or simply don't have time to learn the framework. This is where the Espresso Test Recorder comes in. It lets you create and add UI tests to an existing app in an interactive way. You may have previously seen the beta version of this feature, but in Android Studio 2.3, we are promoting it to stable with a few enhancements. To get started with the test recorder, click on Record Espresso Test under the Run menu. The Device Selection dialog pops up, and after you make your choice, the test recorder runs your app in debug mode. Simply progress through your app's UI as a regular user would by clicking buttons, swiping, and typing into input fields, and all those actions will appear in the test recorder window. You can also click here to add an assertion to your test at any time during recording, which will trigger the test recorder to dump the current view hierarchy. To select the view you want to assert on, Click on the screenshot that appears in the recorder window and choose between the assertion type from view exists, doesn't exist, or check that it contains the specified text. When you've finished recording your test, the test recorder generates the equivalent test code to run your actions and assertions and puts it in a new file in your project's instrumentation test folder. It also checks if your build file contains the required Espresso dependencies and adds those if needed. When you look at the source file that Espresso Test Recorder created, you will see that it's perfectly normal, human-readable code. So if you need to further customize your tests or alter them when your app changes, you can simply open the file again and make the alterations you need. As you can see, the Espresso Test Recorder is very simple to use, but it does come with some limitations. As of Android Studio 2.3, only a few most common assertions are available through the Recorder UI. So if you need anything more complicated than that, you will need to edit the generated code by hand. Also, at this stage, the test recorder cannot handle all situations where additional synchronization is needed to deal with delays and async operations in your apps. I highly recommend getting familiar with the Espresso idling resource API and using that in your tests to signal when a long-running operation happens. For advanced users who want to tweak some aspects of test code generation, there's a settings page for the test recorder in Android Studio Preferences. Here, you can change the maximum view hierarchy depth that will be used for view identification and if app data should be cleared every time you record a new test. The Espresso Test Recorder is a great way to start adding tests to your app, whether you want to learn Espresso by examining the generated code or simply to quickly build a test suite which you can customize later. We look forward to your feedback on our social channels and happy testing. Thanks for watching, and for more Android Studio videos, click here.